Petting tree. Big tree. What is up everybody, this is Joshua Alvarez of Alvarez Gaming Films, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Took me a bit to get up to uh, start recording this because god damn it's hot here, like, summer air. Holy shit. So we're moving on. Okay. Say hey Mario, we found a crystal star, but we didn't find any sign of Princess Peach. Where do you think she is? Hope she's okay. Something wrong, Mario? You're uh, shaking. You feeling all right? Uh -huh. My dearest Mario, I send this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I'm being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am. I remain unharmed and in relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent to you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find objects they call the Crystal Stars. I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it is not anything positive. They may be aware that you have the map, so please be very careful. And please, don't worry about me, Princess Peach. Wow! You got mail from a princess! That's so cool! So, anyway, sounds like she's unhurt. That's good, at least. But I don't like the sound of those kidnappers looking for the crystal stars. We should head back to Rogueport where you started and begin the search for the next crystal star. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Oh, get out of my face. I don't need to fight any of you guys anymore. I'm done with this chapter. I'm straight, straight to the end. Alright, if I don't talk much, I'm really tired. Like I said, it's hot. Mario, hold up that crystal star. Yay.
Bogley Woods, right at the center. Oh, cool. I added Flurry's house. Oh, God. I remember Flurry. I, I don't like her that much. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Oh, it filled in the star on the door, too. Nice. Hey, Mario, look there. Oh, God. <coughs> Excuse me. The next crystal star showed up on the map. But I'm sorry, but I don't have a faint... Ain't good. Words. I don't have a faint clue where that is. Um, I think maybe we should take it to Professor Frankly and let him look at it. Um, I see, I see. Crystal clear. Um, so can you tell us where the next crystal star is or not? It's in the Bogley Woods. The second crystal star is inside a great tree there. A great tree in the Bogley Woods, huh? About those woods, I think some odd creatures live there. If memory serves, there's a pipe beneath town that leads to those woods. Um, Professor Frankly, you should probably know it's about Princess Peach. Mr. Mario got an email from her just recently. Her Highness said that the guys who kidnapped her are also hunting the Crystal Stars. Oh, and she said she doesn't even know where she's being held. Yeah. Uh-oh. If Princess Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the Crystal Stars, what could they hope to achieve? Could the treasure be... Ah! Too many unknowns! Unfortunately, the only clues we can rely on are the Crystal Stars and that map. I guess all we can do is head to the Bogley Woods to find that next Crystal Star. Yes, I recommend you do just that. Try to find it before the Princess's kid captors. Whatever their ultimate goal is, it can't be good. But don't be hasty. If you're low on items or health, drop by the shop and inn first. I'll keep researching to learn more about the Crystal Stars and the ancient treasure. Alright. Oh yeah, you could check the trash bin in Frankly's um, house. Oh, hey, Luigi. Uh, I don't want to talk to you right now. You could check the trash bin in Frankly's house for cattle logs. And those and the shine sprites that we got from uh, our last couple episodes can be used to upgrade your partners here. Which is what I'm going to do right now for Coops. Actually, no, I'm going to do it for Goombella first. I boost the uh, attack. Yeah. Which part? I pop, pop. Bella. Yes. So I actually do want her to be powered up more. Chazubi! Chazubi! Can't power up anymore. Return someday. Alright, cool. So Cabela's all powered up. Uh, I guess the only thing to do now is hit the next area. Goes at Punio. There 
goes. Mario, did you see that? That was one of those things Professor Frankly described. not bullies of course not i like punio he's kind of reminds me of myself a little bit for real Phew. boy that's good i thought for a second i might have had an accident you're one of those creatures from the boggly woods right what are you doing here B what why do you know about me no you must be you guys are working for those x knots aren't you you chased me here no! It's the end! x knots Easy there, kid. What in the world are you freaking out about? We're not gonna do anything to you, so chill for a sec. Just tell us what's going on. Well, okay. This gang of bad guys who call themselves the x knots came to where I live. They came inside our great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. So I've come all the way here, looking for help. Mario, that sounds like those guys who attacked us in Rogueport, right? If they're the same guys, then they're definitely after the Crystal Star. Hmm. Now that you mention it, they did say something about a Crystal Star thingy. But we punies don't know anything about any crystals or stars. Say, so could you guys help us out? Maybe chase them off? If you do, we'll give you, uh... What was it? Crystal Star, if you do? We'll have the puny elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but if it'll help us reclaim our tree, I'm sure the elder will agree. So what do you say? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging you. Really? You aren't joking? You'll do it? I guess. I mean, we can't just ignore them, right? And we do need to find the Crystal Star before those ex-whatever guys do. Oh, thank you so much. This is great. I'm so happy. My name's Punio. Pleased to meet you. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? This way. Wait, hang on a second. I'm sure the puny elder said something about a button here that opened the secret entrance. Aha! Thank you, Punio. Convenient windows to look out of, too. You can get to the woods we punies live in by going through that pipe there. Okay, hurry, hurry! Yeah, let's go. And so beginneth another chapter of the adventure. Chapter 2 The Great Bogley Tree. Should have done that in my narrator voice. Nice intro. These are the Bogley Woods. They sure look boggling. Ooh, I've got butterflies. Um, okay. Just a bit farther, we can should be able to see the great tree. The elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister, too. Come on, let's go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Time to go to work, lovelies. Vivian, you understand what we've got to do, yes? Mm -hmm. A, find that Mario guy, and B, steal the map to the Crystal Stars, right? We can just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is that bad? Oh, bad things happen all the time, Vivian. 
But you are right about our goals. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. Just ambush him here and get that map. Hmm? What's this now? Vivian, what's that you're fawning over there? Oh, you mean this? I found it near that tree over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely I just had to pick it up. <laughs> Vivian, for shame! Picking someone's scraps? Disgusting! Greedy! But enough about that. Vivian, my dear pack rat. Bring out the sketch of that Mario guy that you got from Grotus. <laughs> what? I, I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. I don't have that thing. You were in charge of it. You wretched little worm, blaming me for something you probably screwed up. But, but I... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, what is it, Marilyn? Huh? What's that? Mustachioed fellow? This is no time for such nonsense, you great oaf. Save your games for later. Now, now, where was I? You, Vivian, don't tell me you lost our precious sketch. But listen, I it's not my fault. I never had the sketch. I always feel so bad for her. Silence, you dits! Such impudence! How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child! It's clear to me that the only rationale that you understand is force! For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you found. Yes, so sorry. But, but, Beldam! Oh, you're horrid! Like I said, I feel so bad for her. Hey. Ow! I swung at I didn't swing hard enough. Or fast enough. Okay, so these guys are those rock dudes. Uh I think I have do I have any extra pow I don't have any pow blocks. Oh no. This is, um, not good. Okay. Tattle. That's a cleft! A rockhead jerk with spikes on his noggin. What a rocker. HP is 2, attack 2, defense 2. That hard head is a major pain! Fire doesn't hurt it, but other types of items are pretty effective, usually. If nothing seems to work on it, you can always just run. Ah, uh, we don't run here at Alvarez Gaming Films. We fight! We fight the good fight. Always. Unless it's in Fortnite and we have to run away, then we do. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, there should be an, um, a badge that helps in this area somewhere, but I don't remember where exactly. That's a pale piranha. You know about these guys, the famous piranha plants. The, this colorless spe li li li. this colorless subspecies is adapted to the Bogley Woods. Ah, the wonders of nature. HP is four, attack is two, defense zero. Try to jump on them, they'll totally chomp on you. Power smash is ass. Smash. Shh. 
shit, I just realized. Wait. Let me check my stats. 20. Oh, I need to upgrade my flower points next, I think. Let me check badge points. Yeah. Flower points is next. For when I level up. Or probably gonna have Goombella use the uh, syrup on me. Get wrecked. Let me see what this does. Shooting star. Oh, you just got roast. Well, oh, rained on. I was gonna say, oh, he just got roasted! But now he got rained on. <laughs> there! Can you see it? That big tree! Big tree! That's what I was telling you about. That's where we punies live. That's home. Uh, of course, it's not just us in the tree. A lot of jobbies and piters, too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. Hey, there's an in coupon over there. I want it. I'll get it when I come back. Uh, well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Oh, quit being melodramatic. Although it does look thick. What are we going to do now? Uh... Uh, hmm. Hmm... Got it! Mario, over here! Oh, I just noticed the floor makes sound effects when you run and jump. That's cool. Long ago, the puny elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We'll get in that way. Uh, problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. How are we supposed to find a secret entrance? It's secret for a reason, you know. Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. But, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh... Oh, got it! Flurry! Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The Elder says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so... Let's head back in the direction we came from. Oh, boy. 
Ah, these woods are the most wonderful in all the world, yes indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever had. Oh my, yes. I don't know why I paused there. This place is so different from the bright flash bulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace. This negative image of the real world soothes my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Fleury, grow ever more lovely here. Plus, those squishy, adorable little punies that live in the tree are oh so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my, it's happening even as I speak. Already I feel the need for drama. That moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines down on the stage. On me. Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. It's settled then. I shall rise again, but before I make my stage come back. I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll just have to put on some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. No! It's gone! Gone, I tell you! My... my... Necklace. All right, well. Oh. If we head east from here, we'll see Flurry's place in no time. All right, well. Uh, excuse me. That's going to have to wait until next episode. Oh, God damn it. Enemies respawned. Is there, like, a spot at the tree I can save? Or a spot around here, maybe? Hold on. That guy. We got this. Alright, it looks like I'm gonna have to head back towards uh, the uh, Shadow Sirens. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't want to get into another fight. Fine, though. I'll fucking do it. Oh my god, it's so hot. It is so freaking hot. Heh <laughs> You wrecked, nerd. Oh no, Goombella got wrecked, nerd. Actually sweating without not even doing anything. That's how hot it is. And I have my AC on. Fuck you. Out of here. Okay, anyways, now, with that done, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more content here at Alvarez Gaming Films. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.